Hey guys, this is Connie with CC Collections, and I'm coming to you today with a haul. I got up this morning and decided I couldn't just sit around. I was tired of just sitting around, and I had to get up and go and do something. So, since I was going to be by myself, I decided not to venture out to any thrift stores because I have to leave North Little Rock for that. But I did go to some yard sales, a few. Um, I went until it was becoming too much for me to um, deal with the, the um, pain of getting in and out with my um, tailbone issues. I did get a few pieces of jewelry, not anything of any name brand that I can see so far, but some pretty beaded stuff, some stuff I can use for patterns to make my own. First off, I've got this beaded necklace that has some metal beads and some cat's eye, and then it has this cross on the end of it. like that. Let's see if I can get a little bit more light in here. Bear with me a moment. There we go. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I don't think it's sterling silver, it's not marked or anything, but it's real pretty. I also got this memory wire choker with uh, some glass work beads. And it has a pair of earrings to go with it. It says designer collection. It has a number on it. It does say made in China, so I'm imagining both pieces are made in China. And that bead comes down, I'm just going to have to work it down to the memory wire. But that's kind of cute. I also got this pair of earrings, Kayla Jewelry, I'm not real sure about that name. It does say made in China also. And I got this pair of earrings with someone in mind. I bet y'all can't guess who that is. They are dyed shell, both pieces. And they are big and they are long. And Selena Lowe will get these. These are her colors and uh, her style. I got this necklace also. It's lots of different beads with a tassel on it. I do not know why I got this. It's just every time I laid it down, it screamed at me to pick it back up. So, there we go. I have no clue why. Those gray, dark gray beads there have texture on them. These other faceted, they got gold bladder in them. I think that's gold. But everything's in silver tone, so kind of cute. Like I said, I wasn't going to get that. It just kept screaming at me. I wasn't going to get this either um, because it's kind of, it's not put together real well. But it gave me some ideas, so I wanted it for a pattern on how to make some good ones of these, 
and then it has lots of beads on it. And I got this uh, watch band style charm bracelet. I've got a couple of these already. But it's got some pretty neat purple beads going around it. I also got this tassel necklace. It has a really long chain and gold tone. And then I got this. Um, not thinking it's silver either. Well, wait a minute. There is something there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if there's any there, that is 925. On that, I am not so sure about the chain. It might be because it is tarnished. If not, I'll have to see if I can... I believe that is nine two five. Let's see. I'll test it anyway. But the chain nor the pendant is sticking in any way. And if y'all wondering, this is that fake magnetized hematite. It sticks to everything. also got this choker and it'll probably come off the choker and go on a different necklace but I like that pendant. Yeah, there's no mark on this. I'll probably still test it because it does have kind of the look, but I'll get rid of this because it is metal worn, and I'm pretty sure it's not silver. And I got this bracelet. It has a fold over clasp. There's no names on it, but it's still real pretty. Those are not real stones, but who cares? They're gorgeous, and they're not real, real heavy. Then I got this necklace, and I'll probably restring this. And what I'm thinking is, is I got this one, too, and I'll probably take that stone and make the pendant a little bit longer. Maybe in this way, whatever, and do it that way. And then I got this necklace, <coughs> which actually goes <coughs> fairly well with these earrings I got for Selena. <coughs> and finally, the one thing I'll probably Keep for a while is a stretchy ring. I love stretchy rings because I wear such big rings and it's harder to find them. Isn't that gorgeous? Needs to be cleaned up somewhat, but I think it is pretty. Let's see if that says something up at the top. Nope, it's just dotted. Nothing on the back. But it is pretty. Now 
And that's it, guys. Just a little haul, but something I can play around with for a little while. I've got a lot to um, clear up and clean up. I'm going to have another pop-up next week sometime of um, some dainty necklaces y'all haven't seen yet. Then I may re -lock some stuff. And then I'm just going to probably pack it away. I do have the makings of a craft lot. This is, you know, I'll put more in there. Some of that's still wearable. Some of it's just uh, the beads. But I do have more to go through to probably add to that. And that's all I have for you today. If I come up with anything more, I will let you know. Y'all have a good rest of the weekend, and I'll see you later.